Getting an education at CU Boulder will cost you less. That is the new promise from the university's chancellor. The university is planning to get rid of all course fees. And they say total that's going to save students $8.4 million a year. This is the latest cost-cutting move by the university, which says it's lowered average student debt by 15% over the past three years. Denver Savage Jennifer Kovaleski is live on campus tonight. Uh, sounds pretty good, but uh, I guess not to everybody. Shannon and right now we're on the hill. This is an area where a lot of students live. The rent around here for one room is more than a thousand dollars a month. That's on top of tuition. Students we talk to say they're skeptical of the savings, but with rents that high, they say anything helps. Thanks. How much do you pay for parking? You don't have to tell these sorority sisters how expensive it is to go to see you. It's really hard to be a college student here. It's extremely challenging to budget. Freshman Sophie Benesick. The second I saw the flat irons, I knew I had to come here. And sophomore Katie Davis both came to Boulder from out of state for the experience. It was the mountains and the skiing. But that experience came with a hefty price tag. Out of state, no um, financial aid. I think I'm looking at like $51,000 a year. A year. Not including rent, food, or sorority fees. My brother goes to a different school and his rent is like $500 a month and here it's like 1000 This is my world politics book. Adding textbooks. I think this one is originally 200 And course fees. There's fees everywhere. I have to pay $900 just for taking a class that's required in my dorm. Students will no longer pay those. CU Chancellor Philip DiStefano is now promising change and lower tuition costs starting in the fall of 2018 by eliminating more than 60 course and program fees, creating a permanent scholarship program, and spending a million dollars to put textbooks fully online at a discounted rate. Potentially saving them hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per semester. I'm constantly thinking about money and like how I'm going to pay off my student loans. Welcome news to these two out-of-state undergraduates who are tired of barely getting by. Every dollar counts, so it'll definitely help, but I don't think it'll make a significant enough impact to like really feel comfortable or make a difference. Every dollar does count. Now students will still have to pay fees for the rec center, the bike and bus program, as well as student health services, but they won't have to pay those course fees starting next fall. The chancellor says that the university will make up for those costs using money from increased enrollment and retention rates. Reporting live in Boulder tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.